off to school. Come with me, let's have a look. Well, I'll tell you now, the reason I'm here is, um, you know, if you want to come abroad to teach, teaching overseas, teaching English overseas, uh, if you look on the internet, what, it, what you usually find is that it says uh, if you want to come to Thailand and teach English then you need a qualification. Well, I'm with... Uh, Hello. I'm with this lady here, this is Agnes, and uh, she is living proof that, in fact, you can come here to Thailand, you don't need qualifications before you come. Yes. And, in fact, you don't even have to be English because Agnes is Polish. <laughs> exactly. So the all information what they wrote that you need to be a native speaker, and as well you need a qualification, exams. Uh, it's not true. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we'll get the full story from you in a moment. Okay. Let's go and have a look around the school. So each of these buildings are for different age students, yeah? Yes, exactly. Right. Each class has uh, their own room. Right. For which they take care, cleaning every day, taking trash away. How many buildings are there? Till now we have five buildings, but there is one more building uh, right now making. I mean, there is seven, but five main. Right. For the classes, uh, this building, for example, is very interesting. They are just learning how to clean. This one here. Yes. Right. About different types. Hello. Hello. Uh, about different types of brush. Right. Yeah, interesting. One one. Yes. Oh, it's yeah. Busy. yeah, it's time for the older students. Right. The young one was one hour before. Uh huh. So they start early then, don't they? They start what, about half eleven, half past eleven? Start lunch? Yes. Right. They have a lunch. Eleven fifty start for right. the older, for younger eleven. Traditional First Thai room. teacher's room. Mix. Hello teachers. <laughs> so what do you call? Oh, so what do you call? We have a Thai teacher's mix with the foreign <laughs> That's teachers. a good idea. Hello. And that's Robin from Philippines. Right, uh, lovely. Teacher. Lovely. And uh, teacher Judy is practicing with the students for the competition. Aha, uh -huh. you've got oh, competitions it's... coming up, haven't you? Yes, next yeah, week. Yeah, that, that time of year. Next week, exactly. Very I see on the time. wall there where if there's a will, there's a way. Yes. Yeah, nice one, oh, nice one. To... Practice makes, etc. Should perfect. be perfect. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So here we are, I've, I've sat down for a few minutes uh, to have a chat to uh, Agnes. As I say, Agnes is from Poland and she's a traveller. You've been travelling around the world for Three how long? Years right Three now. years. Yeah. And then you came to Thailand and uh, obviously when you travel occasionally you run out of money. So exactly. I guess this is what happened here. So take up the story for me. You got to Trat in Thailand, then what happened? Um, I get to Bangkok at first and it was the first place where I start looking for a job mm -hmm. and um, obviously I'm a lifeguard going back home so right. it was the first uh, job what I was looking for uh, but in Thailand it's not very popular work so it was uh, difficult um, so after a couple of days I start to look for another opportunities and some of my friends just say like try to be a teacher apply for that job and uh, I did the same what most of the people no I cannot I don't have a qualification and uh, yeah I'm not a teacher I never teach before that's okay just try and this is what I did I sent my resume uh, for through mails to some people mm -hmm. and the same day I get answer an invitation for an interview right super surprised I went there uh, what they asked me for to prepare like an um, example of the class, what I will teach like uh, in my lessons, yeah. Yeah, exactly, make a presentation. Uh, on this way they saw how is my level of my English mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, the same day they asked me do I want to work. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the pay like? Is it pretty good? 
it's pretty good. It uh, depends on the place where you are staying. Uh, it can be, and depends which country you are, to be honest. But for European people, it's always higher than uh, right. for Asian. I don't know why, but with the Filipinos at most, here is a lot of Filipino teachers mm -hmm. in Thailand. And their salary, even they speak English um, every day in Philippines, is lower. Right, yeah. right. Don't know the reason, to be honest, but uh, well, I'm I guess maybe foreigner don't want to work for <laughs> less money. Uh, so it's starting, uh, I guess, around 20, 28,000. The lowest right, uh, salary okay. in Thai baht. In Thai baht, yeah. Uh, till even seventy thousand. Wow, wow, yes. that's pretty and good. The isn't it? the cost of living is, is cheap. Yeah, Super sure. Cheap. And they are, as, as we as we're finding out here in Thailand, they are crying out for English-speaking yes. uh, teachers, yeah. no matter where they happen to come from. Uh, but if they come from. Uh, if they're white and from Europe, yes, it seems to be... Yes, that's the point, what they told yeah. me, uh, actually, that, uh, okay, maybe your English is not perfect, you are not native speakers, but still, comparing to Thai people, your English is good, if you can communicate, so for sure you can teach something. That's to great. Thai students. Thank you for that, Agnes, thanks sure, for telling no us all about that. That's so well Guys, about. don't be afraid, just try. <laughs> the hardest is the first step. Good advice, good advice. Thank you, Agnes. Thank you. Matthew one. Right, these are some of uh, <laughs> Agnes' students here waving. Hello, girls. So, what do you crop? This is video, not picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, Agnes is just showing me this corner here, which is called the, uh, it says, Welcome to the uh, corner. Asian Corner. Uh, a S E A N. Now this is like a bit like the European Union. The countries around here in Southeast Asia are coming together uh, to share resources. I think is the best way of putting it, isn't it? Yes. So, and again, like uh, the European Union, you know, some people like it and like the idea, and some people don't. Uh, but there we are. So we've got Cambodia, of course, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore. Myanmar, which is Burma, um, Vietnam, Indonesia, so all those countries will be coming together soon uh, to form A-S-E-A-N. This building here is like an art centre within the school as it were. Downstairs they uh, uh, put art together and upstairs is where the school orchestra practices, uh, so like the music department I guess upstairs yeah in this center here fascinating so I guess has got a class coming up now uh, in a moment she's brought me into this room here and here we see some of the students artwork on the walls looking very nice uh, some of the students are starting to gather here ready for the next lesson which uh, Agnes is going to uh, take So what do you crop? So. Right, and what are you going to do with these guys this afternoon? This afternoon we, we start uh, our new topic. Uh, we will talk about jobs, right. about responsibilities, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we'll see, do some worksheets, some Excellent. exercise ask them what are the plans for the future. Do you enjoy classes with, uh, with Agnes, teacher Agnes? Yeah? <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. So you uh, have been making masks and heads here. Wow, these are cool. <laughs> Do they use these in performances then? Do exactly. They? Yeah. 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 When, for example, is um, sports week. Right. And uh, they have a competition in sports, and they make a parade as well in front of the school. They are using it. Fabulous. So everything what they do, 
is for something, right. not just to do and drop it away. It's interesting. Very nice. Very interesting. We made a video for you. This is Cha Chompu, yeah? yeah? Chompu, yeah? Did you have a nice birthday? Yeah. Good, I've heard all about it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> Video for me. Yeah, it's okay. It was it was Agnes. It was all Agnes. <laughs> I just helped her along there a little bit. <laughs> so, how long have you been at this school? How long have you been coming here? Um, four years. Four years, yeah. yeah. And how long have you got to go at this school? That, how long left? Ah, uh, left. Two years. Two years more. Yeah. Right. And what will you do after after you leave here? Do you go to university? Yes. I got to university in Bangkok. Right, excellent, excellent, lovely. Lovely to meet you, Shampoo. Lovely to meet you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Well, what a great day, what a great sort of hour or hour and a half I've spent here with Agnes. Absolutely fascinating. As I was saying there, I could spend a day or two here. Uh, learning about uh, the education system, the schools here in Thailand. And I hope you found it interesting too. Thanks for joining me.